Whether you're dreaming of a quiet cul-de-sac or a downtown pad, location matters. Fortunately, Tucson, Arizona is a city known for its diverse neighborhoods, each with its own history, culture, and amenities. So, you might be wondering what are the best neighborhoods in Tucson? In this guide, we'll be taking the scenic route through these fantastic neighborhoods, starting from number 5, Armory Park. Historic Armory Park is a distinctive residential neighborhood known for the eclectic businesses found on the bustling 6th Avenue. Just south of downtown Tucson, Armory Park is a great option for those looking to remain close to central Tucson while reaping all the benefits of a relaxed suburban environment. You don't have to go far to experience amazing neighborhood offerings like the Hub Restaurant and Ice Creamery, serving up small plates, sandwiches, pot pies, and a whole lot more. Hub Restaurant and Ice Creamery have something on the menu for everyone, but be sure to save room for dessert. The Coronet International inspiration meets local flavor at the Coronet. Make the trip to the new Crushing Street location and dine on the seasonal menu designed by executive chef Tanner Fleming. An extensive cocktail and wine menu are also available. The Museum of Contemporary Art. Housed in a former fire station, the Museum of Contemporary Art in Tucson hosts exhibitions as well as education classes for all ages. Armory Park gets its name from the centrally located public park. Formerly known as Military Plaza Park, it's now a prime spot for afternoon relaxation. Number four on our list, Sam Hughes. Located near the University of Arizona, the Sam Hughes neighborhood attracts more than just students. This quiet neighborhood is known for its outdoor spaces, perfect for joggers and cyclers. The neighborhood gets its name from Samuel C. Hughes, a 19th century Welsh immigrant who served as a community leader. Today, residents of Sam Hughes frequent businesses and locales like Himmel Park. Get out and enjoy the greenery of Himmel Park. This quiet desert oasis is the perfect spot for picnics, barbecues, and quiet walks through tree-lined paths. It also houses a public pool and tennis courts. Also, Rocco's Little Chicago Pizzeria. Hankering for some out-of-town flavors? Stop by Rocco's Little Chicago Pizzeria for a taste of the Windy City. Since 1998, Rocco's has brought Tucson the best of deep dish pizza, salads, soups, and unbelievable chicken wings. And Bob Dobbs. With daily happy hours and a casual atmosphere, Bob Dobbs is a neighborhood hangout for anyone looking for a refreshing drink. Come in for Saturday night karaoke to belt it out with friends and strangers, or stop in for a weekend breakfast to start your day. With a new neighborhood grocery store set to open this year, Sam Hughes continues to forge a path forward as one of Tucson's most celebrated neighborhoods. Number three, downtown Tucson. Those thirsty for a bustling big city experience should opt for a home in the heart of downtown Tucson. With plenty of dining, shopping, and museums within a walkable distance, once you make it downtown, consider making your first stop at one of these amazing locations. How about the Tucson Museum of Art and Historical Block? The hub of Tucson Art and Culture, the Tucson Museum of Art and Historic Block, is committed to bringing quality exhibitions and events to the city. Since 1924, residents have flocked to admire everything from photography to Latin American folk art. Or Jacome Plaza. Sit back in the shade, play ping pong, or admire the mesquite trees at Jacome Plaza. The plaza also plays host to several local festivals. Come hungry on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and you'll be greeted with top-notch Tucson food trucks. There's a lot more downtown than you can see in a day. You'll find opportunities for excitement at the local trampoline park, outdoor gardens, and a host of local restaurants and coffee shops. Number two, Sivano. Sivano has been a must-see neighborhood for over 20 years. Known for its brightly colored homes and tree-lined streets, the homes of Savano are all relatively new, built in 1999 or after, and the community is continuously expanding. Savano residents enjoy all the nearby benefits of things like Sweet Low Cakery. Desert lovers flock to this neighborhood gem. Sweet Low Cakery offers a mouth-watering variety of sweet baked goods, including the German chocolate cupcake, Grandma Helen's Irish cream, and chocolate cake. Appease your sweet tooth or bring something delectable to your next get-together. 
The community garden has rentable raised bed plots where you can grow your favorite fruits, flowers, vegetables in the Savano community garden. Admire the citrus trees or linger by the barbecue area and start grilling with your neighbors. It may appeal to those looking for a quieter area to live and work. That said, those interested in green architecture, renewable energy, and the unique public spaces will find Savano to be a breath of fresh air. Last, and number one on our list, Dunbar Spring. There are so many fun things to do in Tucson. North of downtown, you'll find the historic neighborhood of Dunbar Spring. The deep cultural history and close community have made Dunbar Spring a perfect spot for those looking to entrench themselves within the city of Tucson. If you're interested in moving to Dunbar Spring, some local offerings are the Dunbar Spring Neighborhood Association. A citizens group formed in the 1980s, the goal of the group is to work to support the neighborhood through cooperative action and improving local relations. You also have the War Fuel Kitchen, dedicated to healthy meals and quick pickup. War Fuel Kitchen updates its menu twice a day with food made from scratch. Plus, there's no waiting when you order online, which is the best thing you'll hear in this video. With several interesting independent businesses continuing to pop up, Dunbar Spring is a great place for those looking to take a chance on something a little different. Well, that's it for today. What are your thoughts on these neighborhoods? Would you live there? Well, we sure would if they had a McDonald's, of course. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel.